it's known that the oceans are some of the most unexplored parts of the Earth. With the blue waters covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, there is still a lot more to be learned by scanning the ocean depths, and trying to understand the many peculiar discoveries we make about our oceans every single day. One place that still to this day is shrouded in mystery is that of the Bermuda Triangle. There have been stories passed down about this mysterious stretch of water, some of which include ghost ships, mysterious vortexes, unidentified flying objects, unidentified submerged objects and even sea monsters. So what would we find if we were able to drain the Bermuda Triangle? Let's start with the things that scientists and researchers have found. Researchers decided to do their own investigations. Interestingly, they found this area produces a lot of oceanic flatulence, and discovered disruptions in geomagnetic lines of flux. The majority of Atlantic tropical storms and hurricanes passed through the Bermuda Triangle, and in the days prior to improved weather forecasting, these storms would have claimed many ships. So researchers have said there would be quite a few ships lying at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle. It's been suggested that planes also reside at the bottom for the same reasons. Rapid changes in the environment would have caused many captains and pilots to underestimate the power of Mother Nature, which would eventually cause their demise. Others also suggested more out there theories. For example, one treasure hunter recently came forward and said there's a USO deep beneath the Bermuda Triangle. An unidentified submerged object or USO is any object observed underwater that remains unidentified, even after thorough investigation. Over the years, people who've been travelling on the Bermuda Triangle have reported seeing mysterious lights under their bones. After observing them for several minutes, the eyewitnesses will say they disappear as quickly as they arrived. Some have suggested that what people were seeing was actually bioluminescence. However, most of the eyewitnesses have spent extensive time on the ocean, and know the difference between the two. Even Christopher Columbus reported seeing a great flame of fire fall from the sky while in this area. Something else said to be living in these waters has become known as the Bermuda Beast. It's a giant beast said to be able to cause ships to sink, and has only been witnessed by a few over the years. The creature is said to be massive and reports status anywhere from 40 to hundreds of feet in length. Some have compared it to the Kraken while others have suggested it could be some type of undiscovered squid. However, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following on their website. The US Navy and the US Coast Guard have said there are no supernatural explanations for disasters at sea. Their experience suggests the combined forces of nature and human failability outdo even the most mysterious science fiction. They add that no official map exists that outlines the boundaries of the Bermuda Triangle. The US Board of Geographic Names does not recognise the Bermuda Triangle as an official name, and does not maintain an official file in the area. So what do you guys think could be lying at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.